All right, Shalom. Call all y'all by Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Kadash. The Mahas, the apostles, and elders, the great millstone, of course, who rule well over all of Israel, not just great millstone. And uh, salutations and peace unto you, sincere Akim, out there pushing the truth uh, from the brothers here in the states to the brothers all over in different countries and nations all over the world. Uh, just real quick, I was looking at, um, you know, because the, the new flavor of the month is uh, this guy rapped the news and he's talking about, um, you know, basically there is no son of the most high, you know, there's only the most high. So, you know, from what I heard, it sounded like a, a new a, a Old Testament Israelite which uh, many brothers have been saying, well, you know, you, you hear from these guys time and time, they'll pop out and they'll have uh, all these followers and all these people. But when it's time to go into scriptures, when it's time to go into prophecy, uh, because, you know, all through the Old Testament, you had a whole bunch of prophecy. You know, going going to the end of the Old Testament is nothing but prophecy. You got the books of so-called major prophets, the books of the so-called minor prophets. Uh, you got the prophecy of uh, basically, you know, America being destroyed. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel. Uh, somewhere in there is, uh, I think it's Jeremiah 51, but it's uh, talks about the Lord who, who's who's died garments from Basra, basically. Which is talking about the Lord, which he's going to come down and he's going to unleash holy hell upon these Edomites and so-called white people. But uh, it's just interesting. And I'm just piggybacking off of uh, what brothers have already done and brothers already said. Uh, but uh, when you look at leadership in these so-called communities, uh, you know what I'm saying. It's, 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 it's non-existent. Okay, especially, and I grew up in the, in the so-called black community, uh, seeing how black people move, how they operate, how their leaders move, how they act, you know, the different things that they're known for, and uh, it's kind of the same thing, you know, they come up, you really don't know too much about them, they gain power, and then, you know, once they gain enough power, you know, eventually Esau come to them, and they'll sell out. That's what, you know, at least that's what dealing with uh, so uh, with Judah, so-called black people. That tends to be the, the habit of black people. They can never never stay clean or or they uh, they get in trouble for some kind of scandal, some kind of theft. You know, they're doing something on the low and uh, Esau picks up on it because, you know, that's that's how Esau operates. They always find some dirt on you. They always have to have dirt on you when they do business with you. And uh they use that and they exploit that and they, they throw uh, the community into chaos. And that's been the name of the game for Esau. And not just with so-called black people, because they've been doing that with us hundreds of years, so-called Native American people. Okay, so-called Latino people too. And, and, and what he does is he goes into these other nations' countries. This is a, a major device of the wicked. He goes into the countries. Like I said, he finds out, the, the, or he sends his spies, I'll say it like that, because they don't, the leaders of our country aren't physically going and scouting, but we send our spies, we send certain government uh, assets and CIA intelligence people into these other countries. They go in, they do business, you know, they figure out uh, certain secrets, certain, certain things that the, these other governments are doing. And they report it back to America. America uses that intel to uh, formulate a plan to uh, move against these other countries. And they show you that, uh, you know, where in the in the movies, because uh, these these Hollywood directors they have a lot of access to different government figures who know exactly how the game goes. And they showed you that in Safe House and uh, Jason Bourne. All these other different, uh, you know, Mile 22, all these other different uh, spy movies and intelligence movies. Because that's the, uh, in Esau's government, you know, not to make it about that, but 
that's the one part of his government that's kept uh, hidden the most, the intelligence part of it, the, the intelligence unit, because that's the part basically that runs it all. Um, dealing with, like I said, dealing with the agents and, and, and counterintelligence agents and, and, you know, double agents, triple agents, whoever, all these people who uh, they're able to go somewhere and give real-time data, real-time information. And, of course, you know, Esau has some IQ tested. They go through government testing and all of this and, you know, they have to do all these tests to, to, to finally get in with Esau and uh, do certain work for Esau. That being the point. But not even just black leadership, but Native American leadership. You know, they, they got all these chiefs and these great men. But if you notice, you know, the, these men haven't been around for hundreds of years. You know, it's, it's, a, it's been a, a, a long overdue time for some for some new leadership. They're still showing these old images, you know, and all these men, no matter how great, how wise they were, at some point they were defeated, you know. And uh, you know, like I said, man, it's it's not to not to crush the spirit, but you know, when you're defeated in battle, you have to be able to readjust your your strategy and readjust your plan, and uh, understand what you're good at and understand what your power is. To be able to to, 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 to to defeat your opponent, basically, and uh, that's not something that any of Israel is uh, really putting themselves able to do. And that's where that's where uh, having that power over you comes in play. Having having that 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 you know we say God really is uh, that that power, that entity, that judge over us. So uh, I'm gonna start with Deuteronomy 16 and 18. It says, Judges, this is when Israel was formed. Judges and officers shalt thou make thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy power giveth thee throughout thy tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. So, you know, the setup was basically to say that you have to have, uh, and that's that's what the Lord is setting up. You know, that's what the brothers of Great Millstone uh, have been set up to do. You know, the different elders, the different leaders have been set up to do. You know, not to just hold an empty position or, or uh, try to have an empty vessel of power or whatever or whatever ego trip. But like I said, judges and officers shall thou make thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy power giveth thee throughout thy tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. And when you look at Esau, okay, I found but uh. You look at uh, Esau's government. Uh, Esau's government is not under. I mean, everybody knows it. They're not under the authority of the Bible, meaning that all the rules and the laws that they created, you know, we know of course they're corrupt. You know, warrants to them that uh, decree under righteous decrees, but uh, they basically they they uh, they pay people money, or excuse me, they get paid money to. Uh, be swayed over over uh, making different laws by different corporations because that's that's what this place is about it's about making money it's not about justice it's not about uh, uh, getting it right the first time it's not about any of that it's about money and um, that's why the scriptures say uh, rise up you know for this is not your rest this is not a place to to, to, to try to kick our feet up and that's why uh, you know, all of our people who sold out to Esau, you know, being used by Esau, ultimately, you know, if they don't repent, they're going to be destroyed. Because they, you know, you commit to the devil, you're going to have to, you know, stay down, stay ten toes down until you die, basically. But uh, verse 19, it said, Thou shalt not rest judgment, thou shalt not respect persons. Yep, because this, this society is a huge respect of a person's. You know, if an Edomite cop shoots down a black kid, uh, you know, it's, he might just get transferred. You know, certain people, you know, in high, high government positions like the cop or whatever, or he's had a clean history or, you know, he's a brown noser for whatever uh, judge or captain or whatever the case may be. 
Esau is going to be a respected person. Somehow that cop is going to get off. Just like in this uh, Jason Stokely case where they found the cop's print in, inside of the gun. You know, in a, in a part of the gun where you had to take it apart. And then they still tried to say that the dude went for a gun. You know, which we don't know exactly, exactly what happened. We just, you know, saw a cop roll up and basically put the dude to death. And so... You know, he's, once again, Esau's, Esau's courtroom, his court system, his law system, all that shit is complete bullshit. And that's why when you go in there, you're going to see so much occultic shit. You're going to see, uh, well, first off, you're going to see that judge come out in those those black robes, you know, which that represents something. The judge might be a woman. That's wicked as hell. Uh, the courtroom. You know, it's always, it always has some kind of pyramid or sphinx or some kind of shit on it. You know, that's that's wicked as hell. It's Esau's, Esau's system, you know, and everybody knows it, it's completely corrupt. But going back to, to the scriptures, it says, Thou shalt not rest judgment. You know, you're not supposed to put off judgment. You're not supposed to go against judgment. Let me make sure I'm getting the right definition for this word. Right, the whole whole judgment. Yeah, you're not supposed to bend judgment, none of that. And uh, Esau has had a long history of that. Thou shalt not respect persons. You need to take a gift. You got a lot of that too in Esau's courtroom. A lot of situations where man, there's so many where Esau has uh, <laughs> gone off. But you got all kind of situations where somebody was about to get convicted. You know, they did a personal, they did a political or personal favor for a judge or or somebody or, uh, you know, the person who was the, who was uh, prosecuting them or something. They got with them in a closed room and uh, made them an uh, offer for some money and then the case was dismissed or whatever. You know, and that, that's wicked as hell. For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. Yeah, you're not supposed to take gifts. You're not supposed to do any of that. That which is all together just shall follow shall thou follow, excuse me, that thou mayest live and inherit the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee. And that's another way we know that these people were in power. You know, these so called Jews are not the real Jews. Because they do that frequently. You know, they, they get off very well because why? A lot of those those lawyers are Jews, and you know they're, they're part of that certain circle. And uh, the U.S. has a what's called. I'm gonna get the definition first. It's called lobbying. Lobbying is a paid activity in which special interests hire well-connected professional advocates, often lawyers, to argue for specific legislation. In decision-making bodies, such as the U.S. Congress, right? Basically, they pay certain professional people to uh, go to go before uh, senators, judges, these different people who want to rule on certain laws, and then they uh, offer them certain money or favors or or whatever it may be. It is a highly controversial phenomenon. Yeah, of course it's highly controversial. This is this is wicked as hell. And this is a huge part of the American system. This is why for years, big tobacco companies, they, they didn't have to say that, well, you know, it's not necessarily proven that tobacco causes cancer. You know, now they have to kind of come bring it out, you know, because somebody risked it all for that information to come out. But this that's the kind of bullshit that you have to deal with. And now the new thing... You know, for lobbying is uh, what LBGT rights, showing you how much money is behind that that bullshit too. You know, you have to uh, what was it the rule on? You have to. I think in, in Britain now they can't say man, they can't say you know a tradesman or you're a workman. Now they have to say work person. You have to say a person. <laughs> you can't even say man. So. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a huge political war on masculinity. And Esau is allowing that shit because they're getting paid. 
Yep. Since lobby rules require extensive disclosure, there's a large amount of information in the public sphere about which entities lobby whom at how and whom and for how much. The current pattern suggests much lobbying is done primarily by corporations, although a wide variety of coalitions representing diverse groups also occurs. Lobbying takes place at every level of government. Every level. Include right, federal, state, local, all that, municipal. So, you know, this is this goes deep. This is this is this goes deep into the, the fiber and the core of America. Yep, and they show you that right here. This is the this is what's underneath all the all the bullshit. Yep, lobbying, public relations. Law media groups, law firms, in-house corporate, uh, public public relations, PR, trade associations, astroturf policy advocates, you know, biotechnical organizations, all these different different businesses. They send uh, people, you know, just like I'm about to show you. Yep. Special interest group to directly contact that politician, that's illegal. But they send somebody as an advocate for them, that's perfectly legal. And that that's wicked as hell. That's wicked as hell. So you know. Hey, the point 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 is made. Um Yeah, the point is made. This place is completely corrupt. Yeah, look at that. It's about money. You know, money runs it. And that's another way we know this is Babylon. You know, this is we know this is Babylon and the wicked is ruled. It's talking about who? Esau. You know, and uh, if you're saying that uh, the Old Testament is the only part, well, it's got to be the Old Testament, number one, it predicts the Messiah coming. You know, you can't get around that. But number two, we can't get out of here without the Messiah. We can't, we can't, you know, there's no escape here. You know, all throughout the Old Testament, it prophesies about Esau being destroyed, Esau going down, Esau's kingdom coming into a collapse, you know, and, and a Messiah to be over us. You know, the house of David, that has to be built back up too. So it's, it's, it's many parts where, you know, these guys are, uh, Claim that they believe and claim that they, you know, love Yahweh Shai, but they don't want to uh, heed to the words of the men of the Lord. And I'm not gonna make it too complicated. I just got one more part. Uh, I said the term lobby has etymological roots in the physical structure of the Br British Parliament, in which there was an intermediary cover room. People pushing an agenda would try to meet with members of the Parliament in this room, and they became known. Uh, as lobbyists, right? Because they were trying to meet him in the lobby. So, trying to meet him in the lobby before they, you know, went into the uh, whatever little room that they were uh, meeting about. So, hey, with that being said, and that, once again, that's directly against the Bible. Thou shalt not rest judgment, thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift for a gift to blind the eyes of the wise. And pervert the words of righteous, and this place is very prefer perverted. Um, so I had one more. Yep. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. That's another reason why Israel is gonna have to uh, receive harsh judgment because you have too many people trying to supplant, you know, the men who are already set up, men who've already been here, been pushing, and continuing to push. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, you got people who just pop out the woodwork and claim that they're the leader of all Israel, but they haven't put the same work in. You know? And, uh, you know, if we were here forever, you would, you would always have somebody who pops up, you know, who thinks they're the next hot shot or whatever. And they don't they don't have any respect for, you know, the work that... Uh, the elders and the apostles have done in the past and that uh, the young brothers coming up are, are currently doing 
in our attempt to be uh, the elders and the apostles, or our, our attempt to build up Israel, or our attempt to uh, glorify the name of Yahweh Hashem Shah. But hey, with that being said, man, oh yeah, one more Proverbs 11 and 14, where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. And that's what's going on with Israel now. Our people are falling. They're on the ground. You know, and they can't get up. No no counsel. You know, according to the scriptures, you're always supposed to heed wise counsel. That's why the Lord will always send his prophets to the king of Israel. You know, and then if that king was wicked, you know, they would continue to go off. If they were righteous, they would repent and they would do, you know, what the prophet told them to do. Hey, but with that being said, man, I hope this was edifying. Call all your Bashim Shai, Bashim Makakadash Shalom.